Welcome to another Procreate tutorial. My name is Tatiana if you are new here. In this video I will show you how to draw a glass terrarium with a succulent and other elements inside it. I've created a free brush set and a color palette for this drawing, which you can download via the link in the description below. Also if you like my YouTube tutorials, you can find more in-depth tutorials and exclusive brush sets on my Patreon page. It is also linked in the description below. Without further ado, let's grab our pencils and get started. The canvas size is 2000 by 2500 pixels. I'd like to start drawing with a terrarium made of glass. To make it more visible and to show the transparency, it's better to use a dark background. That's why I'll go ahead and change the background color here. Selecting the first color from the palette. Now we can grab white color from the color disk and go to the brushes. Specially for this tutorial and to make it easier for you, I've prepared a few stamps with terrarium shapes that can be used as templates. I'll select the first one. You can also try to draw it along with me and then try some other shapes if you like. Let's set the size to around 48% and then tap inside the canvas. Then I will move it and place it approximately in the center, like this. After that I'll create a new layer can be located above this one and lower the opacity of the layer with a template. It will work as a prompt for us. In the next step I'm going to use selection, so let's click on this range icon to activate it and select freehand, but I will remove color fill. I will outline the outer borders, simply following the template and try to make it smooth. Let's go down, then to the right side, and actually you can do it in any direction, which you find more comfortable. Let's connect it here, on top of the shape, and then tap here. The selection is activated. Now let's select Remove option, and outline this oval. I'm also following the template. Going to the right side and connecting it. Now if we tap on this dot here, this part will be removed from the selection. And this is what we wanted. Now we need to pick a brush, so we could draw the glass. Let's open the library and go to drawing set from Procreate. Here you can find many cool brushes that deserve your attention, and in this tutorial we will use many of them. Let's start with the one called Eagle Hawk. I've set its size and opacity to maximum, and I will start making horizontal strokes on the sides. Here at the bottom, also going to the right side, and making strokes inwards. We can apply more texture on the edges and also make strokes vertically. The texture will look slightly different. Let's also shade this part under the selection. I will press more on the edge here and then make a couple of more strokes on the sides. Now we can also try to use eraser, set to the same brush. I will pick it from recent brushes. Also set it to full size and start making strokes like this, to blend the color a little. And remove the sharp borders. This way we can also add some imperfections, so it will follow the style. Let me now switch back to brush and add a highlight here on the side. I will draw it this way. We can press more in the center to emphasize the highlight. Ok, I think now the shape is totally ready. Let's deselect it and we can remove the template, since we don't need it. 
Now we can start drawing more elements inside the shape. So let's create a new layer and place it below the terrarium. First I will draw the soil. So let's go to the color palette and select soil color. Now I will go to the brush set and change the brush. Let's try this one, call it black burn. It is also textured. I will simply draw inside the terrarium, at the lower side. Go into the sides and paint in it below. I think it is fine now. Let me create one more layer and we will draw the main object of our composition, that will be succulent. First of all I will also pick white color, by double tapping here on the color disk. And to make the drawing even easier for you, I prepared another template with a succulent. Let's select it. I will set the size to around 40% and tap somewhere here. Let me move it and I will place it this way so it goes a little outside the terrarium, but it should match with the width. Alright, deselecting now. Let's also lower the opacity of the template and create a new layer above. I will show you my favorite way to draw a succulent. I made it very simple, but later if you like it, you can also try to apply to a flower with more petals. Anyway, I think we can remove this layer for now to see the template better. When drawing a succulent, it is important to understand the number of layers and their location. Let's have a look at the template. Here we can see these three petals that are not intersecting, so they can be totally located on one layer. Then we can see these three that can be located on another layer below. Then we can draw this single petal and after that two more. So let's begin. I will use selection in freehand mode and outline these three petals that are located on the front. It is very easy because we have a template. So actually before drawing a succulent, it is better to sketch it. Let me tap here to close the selection and outline the last one. Let me also connect it. And we have three selections. I will go to the color palette and grab the first succulent color. And in the brushes, I will select Eagle Hawk brush from drawing again. Set its opacity and size to maximum. We can apply it inside the petals. We can do it by tapping or making strokes. Let's just give it a little texture. After that I will change the color to the next one and apply it at the bottom of each petal, making strokes upwards. Here we can draw at the bottom and then go to the right. Also darken this part a little. Then I will switch to a darker color. Let me also shade this part. Go to the side a little. And then I will shade this one. Also painted mostly at the bottom of the shape. Maybe a little on top as well. Let's now lower the size a little. And shade this one. I'm applying low pressure to make it gradual. So the colors will be blended. Before adding the highlights, we can add some more colors. Can be this one number 5. Actually, the more colors you apply, the better. So you can go ahead and add more violet, purple or even light brown colors. I just want to save some time. So with low pressure, I will apply the color in the center of each petal. So it looks more natural. And after that I will add the highlights. For that I'm going to use color number 4. 
from succulent. Let me highlight this part. I will lower the size a little. Draw on top of the petal. And make strokes and words. Then on this side. Let me go even down here. And then I will highlight the one on top. Changing the size of the brush in order not to damage the petal below. Let me highlight it here. Go to the side like this. Then I will increase the size and draw on the remaining petal. Here we can highlight this part as well to add some volume to it. Now these are ready. Let's deselect it and create a layer below to draw the next three petals. But first we need to outline them using selection. Here comes the first one. I will tap here. Then I will outline this one on the right side. Following the template. And tap here. Then I will outline this small one. At the bottom. Ok. Now we have the selections. Let's start with the first color again. And use the colors exactly in the same order. So I will first paint them. To create the base. And then start shading. Let's apply dark color here at the bottom. Then also on this one. And apply low pressure. Let's shade this one at the bottom. And then select a darker color. I will shade it this way. We can try to add a cast shadow that comes from the top petals. Then also make strokes on this side, upwards. And then here at the bottom. I will also make a shadow like this. Now let me select color number 5 from this one. And paint slightly on this petal. In the center. And in the end I will apply the highlight. On the tip here. Then on this one. Go to the side a little. And here at the bottom. I think you already got the idea. So we can deselect now. Create another layer below. And draw the single petal. Let me outline it quickly. And now I think you can pause it. And shade it on your own. Let's see what you come up with. I will make it fast. Using exactly same colors. And same principles. Let's add some color variation with low pressure and a highlight in the end. I will create one last layer for the remaining two petals. We already decided that they can be located on one layer, so we just need to outline them. And then paint. Let me also do it quickly. Switching between the colors. And considering the shadows. So we need to darken this part. And also this one. 
Let me add this color. As I said, you can add even more colors. And finish it with a highlight. I will apply it here on the tip and on the edges. Also on this one. Trying to blend them. Alright, now this part of the succulent is ready. We can deselect it and merge all the layers. We just need to draw the stem. So let's create a layer below this one. And as the base color for the stem I'm going to use color number 5. Let's go to ink inset and use dry ink brush to outline the stem following the template. It will create a textured edge. We don't have to make it perfect. It can be slightly curvy. I will just connect it and after that try to fill. I will adjust the color drop threshold so we don't have gaps between the outline and the color. Now we can shade the stem quickly. For that I will be using clipping mask. So let's create a new layer and then clip it. Half of the stem will be covered by other plants, so we don't have to work hard on it. For shading I'm going to use soft brush from airbrushing. Let's select succulent color number 2 and apply it on the left side of the stem. I will paint approximately half of it. Then I will grab the next color that is slightly darker and paint more on the edge. Now we can highlight the right part and for that I'm going to use color number 6. I will paint like this. I think we can add some purplish color, maybe this one. I will just lower the opacity and make a couple of strokes on top, like this. And to emphasize the shadows that come from petals, I will be using this dark green color that is called moss. Let's also lower the opacity a little and also the brush size. And add some subtle shadows. Just a little bit. Ok, now I think we can add some texture. So I'll create a new layer, also clip it and go to the brush set. Let's select fine sandy texture using this dark color and the brush size set to 20%. I will make a couple of strokes on the stem and then do the same with the light color. Number 6. I will apply it mostly on the right side. And after that the succulent is ready. Let's merge all the lace for it and also bring back the terrarium. Now it looks like this. First of all we need to remove this part. And instead of erasing it, I will go to the layer and add a layer mask to it. We can use black color and for example pick monoline brush from calligraphy. I will just remove it on the succulent. Let me increase the size and make a stroke like this. If you now look at the layers and toggle the layer mask, we can see that the layer is not damaged. Alright, I think I'll go ahead and change the color of the succulent. The easiest way to do it is to use hue saturation brightness from adjustments. So let me set hue to 57%, so it will be more like blue color, then I will increase saturation to around 55% and lower brightness a little. 48% is ok. Now I will deselect it and we can continue drawing. I want to add a couple of more details, so let me create a layer above the succulent. I want to draw the stone, so let's go to the color palette and select stone color number 1. I don't have a template for the stone, so let's try to improvise. For drawing I'm going to use technical pen from Inkin Set. 
The shape of my rock will consist of a few parts. When drawing the top part, we need to consider the angle of view. It needs to be the same as this oval on top of the terrarium. I will just make it a little more curvy. Let me start approximately from here and go to the right. It may have some angles. And at the bottom I will make it like this. Let me connect it with this point and after that fill the shape. After that I will change the color to this one, number 4. And draw the frontal part. From this angle I will draw an arc like this. And then connect it on the side and at the bottom. Here I will make a line like this. Let's also fill this part. And finish it on the right. Here I will draw two shapes. This part of the rock will be highlighted. So I will select color number 3, which is light. We can make it slightly parallel here. And then connect. I'm filling it. And then changing the color into the darkest one, because it is at the lower part of the stone, which is usually in darkness. I will just make it curvy like this. Also fill in it. And now we can apply shading. I will first work on the frontal part. And to separate it from the entire shape, we need to go to selection, pick automatic without color fill and tap on it. You may need to slide to the sides to adjust the selection threshold. Just make sure we have only this part selected. Now let's go to the layers and create another one above. In the inking set I will select dry ink. It is slightly textured. Let me draw a line here. With an angle. Then I will outline it this way. And fill. Due to the selection, the strokes will stay inside. After that I will draw another dark shape. That will go this way. And you need to consider the shape of your stone. Which parts are in shadow. I will fill this one. And also adjust the color draw threshold. So it fills only the area within the selection. This is ready. I will deselect. Now we can shade the entire part at the bottom. But for that I will create another layer. We can actually merge these two, just to reduce the number of layers. And then clip the new layer to the shape. After that I will change the layers mode to soft light. If we used alpha lock, we couldn't do it. So if you are going to change layers blending modes, it is better to use clipping masks. Well, I think we can go with the same color and draw at the bottom like this. Trying to follow the shape of the rock. It'll go up here. Then it'll go this way. Just making strokes up and down. Let me outline it this way. And then also try to fill. I will fix it like this. So this part is now in shadow. Let's add a couple of highlights on these two parts. We can create one more layer and select color number 2. I will go back to technical pen and draw a shape on top. Like this. Making it parallel and at some distance from the edge. Let me connect it and then draw another shape inside, also at some distance. Let's also fill it and draw a similar shape on the right, using the same color. So I will make it parallel here, 
then go down and draw like this. Not very complicated. This part is also ready. We can just highlight the corners. So I will pick the lightest color. Let's go back to the shape. Then to selection. And tap on this part. I will adjust the selection threshold. Then go back to it and tap again. So now I have only this part selected. But I will change the brush. Let me go to airbrushing and pick medium hard airbrush. It has slightly soft edge. I will apply it here in the corner to get it highlighted. Just a little bit. Go a little to the left. Now let's deselect it and work on this part. So I will go to selection again and this time tap on this shape. Then on the brush. Here I will highlight a corner here. Also not so much. Go into the right a little. And the rock is almost ready. If you like you can add the splashes. I will skip it. But I will just add the texture on top. Let me merge all these layers. And create another one above. I will clip it to the rock. And set the lace mode to soft light again. This blending mode is very good to apply shadows and highlights. And also texture overlays. So let's go to the color disk. And double tap here to select black color. Now I will go to material set from Procreate. And from here select zombie skin brush. It used to be in touch up set, but after the latest update, some of the brushes have moved to materials. You can also find noise brush and some others here. Let me lower the size to around 40% and start making the strokes on the rock. We will get imperfections like this. And now it is ready. I will merge the layers and then duplicate it. I will place one of the rocks behind the succulent. Let's now click on the arrow to open the transformation menu and clip it horizontal. I will move it up and to the left. Here we can also use warp tool to change the shape. We just need to drag it to the sides. Alright. Let it be like this for now. And I will start adding more elements. So I will create a layer between these two. Go to the color palette. And select this green color, which is called plant 1. Go into terrarium set. And selecting this mini plant stem. Let's set the size to around 20%. And tap on the canvas. Now we can move it. And place it somewhere here. I think I will drag it up in the layers. Place it above the succulent. Maybe I will scale it just a little bit. Alright. Now let's shade it quickly. And for that I'll create a layer above. We need to clip it. To keep the colors inside. And I will start shading with the next color on the right side. Let's also go to drawing and select eagle hawk. Let's set the size to around 50%. And start applying it slightly on the right side. On this half of the plant. You can go a little to the left side as well. After we applied the color, we can switch to a darker one. I think we can pick this green that we will later use for moss. I will increase the size and lower the opacity. And start painting more. 
on these petals. I'm not pressing too much on it. Let's go up here and a little bit to the left side. In the end I will apply highlights using this light green color. Let me paint here, also on this one, highlighting it, and then also on these tips, trying to blend them. Let me lower the size and highlight it around on the petals. Now that it is ready, I will merge these two layers. Now we can duplicate it, go and clip it horizontal. I will make it smaller and drag it to the left side. Also rotate it. I will place it this way. Then I will duplicate it again. Let me flip this one. And I will be using distortion to change the shape a little. So now it will go like this. Also deselecting and merging these layers. We can add some shading to it later. Now let's add some more elements. So I will create a layer above this one. And from the color palette select branch color. And also stamp with branches. Here we can set the size to run 30%. And also tap inside the terrarium. Now we can start adjusting them. I will move it a little upper. And then alpha lock to shade it quickly. I will select a darker color, which is called branch shading. And go to drawing set. Let's try another brush called Oberon. The size and opacity are set to maximum. And I will start tapping like this, mostly at the bottom of the shapes. We'll get a texture like this. And we can keep the shapes highlighted on top. Maybe add a subtle texture. Okay, these are also ready. Now we can draw the moss. Let's delete this layer with a template for the succulent and create a layer above the soil. First I will pick this color, that is called plant 2 slash moss. Go into the terrarium brush set and here I will be using this brush with watercolor foliage. It will also work as moss. I will set the brush size to around 40% and start making strokes like this, as circles. Go into the sides a little, but keeping brown color. Now let's create another layer above this one and clip it. First I will apply a lighter color. I will just lower the opacity to around 75% and apply it on the edges. Also making circular strokes like this to highlight them. Now we can pick the darkest color for the moss and draw under the rocks. It will work as shadow. Let me make it full opacity now. Lower the size a little and draw even more. Ok, this is also done. In the end of the tutorial, I wanted to add some extra shape and it will be a snail. I have prepared the colors, but I see that the tutorial is getting too long. So let me just import the drawing that I already made. It is included in the tutorial. I will move it up in the layers and place it here, right under the terrarium shape. Now I will move it up and place it near the rock, like this. As you can see it consists of three ovals that are located on different layers and then a bigger shape. And for shading, I used Morilla brush from drawing. 
with all these colors. I just want to blend the snail, the rock and the moss. And we can do it easily using layer masks. First I will add a layer mask to the snail. We have black color selected now. And watercolor foliage brush. I will just make a few strokes here at the bottom. So without damaging the snail shape, we will blend it with the moss. Now let's do the same with the rock. It's this one. I'm adding a layer mask to it first. And then I will also make a couple of strokes at the bottom of the shape. It is also done now. Let me just go and create a layer below all layers. For the final touch. We can pick the soil color and cloudy splash. I will lower the opacity, increase the size and just make a couple of strokes in the center. Like this. As always in the end I like to fix the colors. And first we can merge all the layers. But I'd like to include the background. So instead of merging them, we can go to Actions, Add, Copy Canvas and Paste. This way it will be united together with the background. And now we can work with the colors. So let's go to Adjustments. Pick Hue Saturation Brightness and I will apply the following settings. The hue at 54%, saturation at 65 and brightness at 49. You can play around with the colors and find your own combination. That will work personally for you. I like how it looks now, so I will deselect it. And at this point the drawing is completely ready. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. You can also unlock more tutorials and brush sets on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.